In this video, I will show you how to assemble the components for one small bite for man, what the final project looks like, and how students will use it to collect data. First, connect the assembled LED to OUT1 on the TI Innovator Hub with TI Launchpad board. Then connect the vibration motor to OUT2, and the servo motor goes in OUT3. Next, you'll need an external power source. A TI wall charger and connecting cable comes with the TI Innovator Hub. Or, you can use an external battery kit that is available from Texas Instruments. Either way, use this cable to connect the power source to the TI Innovator Hub. Then, connect your TI Inspire CX handheld to the TI Innovator Hub with the Mini A, Mini B USB cable. Note that the B end of the cable plugs into the hub and the A end of the cable plugs into the handheld. An easy way to remember that is the B's go together. The B connector goes to the hub. Now comes the fun part, designing and building a model to explore the nutritional needs of an astronaut. Your students will need styrofoam cups, pipe cleaners, popsicle sticks, straws, permanent markers in various colors, tape and scissors. And googly eyes are a nice touch that will give the astronaut some personality. Students will observe how an astronaut's activity and BMI affects energy consumption. The teacher's notes include questions, suggestions for students to evaluate and improve their projects, as well as tips for assessing their conceptual understanding. Students' design models are limited only by their imaginations. I'm sure you'll agree, these lessons are a great way to get your students thinking about engineering design while exploring the concept of cellular respiration. All that's left to do is get started. I hope these videos have been helpful. Good luck!